Welcome guys back to another uh, video. My name is Adiv, also known as Live XYZ. Today we're going to be going to the, uh, Dubai, Abu Dubai and other places and we're going to check some famous landmarks there. Before we get started the video, thank you guys for the support for 1k views on both of my Taj Mahal and my snowy landing. If you guys want to support me more, subscribe and hit the like button down below. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so before we get started with the whole Dubai thing, you guys are wondering what this is. This is the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1. Uh, this is for Xbox and Windows. So if you guys, there's uh, some uh, Xbox things here, like you got X, A, B, Y over here. You got all the regular controls. So yeah, this can be used for Xbox and Windows. This is really good. I've been trying out for a while and it's just amazing. Yeah, so this is my setup. I have my mouse here. I have these two here. We separate them and then we have my keyboard here. So yeah, it took us a while to learn this. We took our setup. So yeah, let's get into the video and yeah. Okay, so we have the world map here. I'm Dubai is right over here. It's like near India, but yeah. So if I go a little deep in, you can see all the landmarks. So if I go a little deep in, yeah. So I'm gonna go from Dubai International. That is gonna be my de departure. And then we're gonna go from Abu Dhabi International, that airport. So we're gonna set that as our, ri uh, our rival. And obviously I don't want a straight flight. So we're going to go to here again, and we're going to do low altitude areas. So see, now we have more of these radio stations, and we can go through our landmarks more easily. I've already set um, time and weather. Let's see, let's check. Clear skies, I'm going to go for a few clouds. That sounds pretty good. So we're check. We have our plane, time, our flight plan. Looks pretty good. Okay, let's go fly. Yeah, so I am still using the JMB VL3 plane because obviously it's the best for sightseeing or flying around uh, various landmarks. So, honestly, I'm just too addicted to the joystick. It's so fun. Honestly, I like every time I see it, I just want the chance to just fly the thing. And honestly, I love it. Okay, right, so we're approaching at 1,500 feet and at an airspeed of 109 knots. So this is the Birch Khalifa right over here. We have some things that passed, but we don't need to care about that. The river's over there. Oh yeah, so, also in the Birch Khalifa, there is a Dubai Mall, and there's also the um, Dubai Mall and the Aquarium too. So you guys can see down here, we have some things in the on the ground. That is a mall, that white. Yeah, see, the Dubai Mall just showed up. I think the Burj Khalifa just lagged out that thing. And we also have an aquarium here. So yeah, so there's three places in one landmark. So here is the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. So let's hover around this. Down below us, we have the mall, which I probably, you yeah, see, Burj Khalifa. Yeah, so this is the Burj Khalifa. Our next stop is gonna be, I'll tell you guys later. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Burj Khalifa. It's really, really tall. I think I've been here before, definitely. I've been to Dubai. Yeah, here's the out place. We have another landmark there. I don't know what that is. Okay. So, yeah. There is the Burj Khalifa. Honestly, I'm out with the best of views right now, so... Yeah. So I'm just gonna circle around the Birch Cliff and we're gonna go with our next landmark. Down here, all that white stuff, that is the mall. We have an aquarium there inside too. And then we have the Birch Cliff. Honestly, this looks really beautiful. Let's head over there. And I'm gonna show you guys all of the world, I guess. It's kind of fun. So down below, I don't know what we have here. I don't know why that's purple, but moving on. I'm gonna get a little high so you guys can see it from a little big view. You can see all the islands. Let's go a little up. So yeah. Right there we have my men just flying the plane over there. I do not have this on autopilot mode. I'm using the joystick and all. So if you guys think I'm using autopilot mode, that's not the case. Yeah, so here's the world islands. Some of them are, you can see some buildings. In the middle, there are some buildings, and those are in construction because 
you can literally own one of these islands that cost probably a lot to own one of these islands and pretty much live on it some people do live on it oh <laughs> my chair accidentally hit a key and that's the rudder i think so that's fine nobody needs to talk about that okay so yeah you can see some here i'm gonna go to the buildings and i'm gonna show you how people pretty much live so yeah honestly i didn't know this in the first place i didn't even know this was a thing i've never been here i just found out and it's honestly it's a pretty cool and little project that's really amazing so we're gonna head to those buildings over there none of these are actually kind of taken there's some that are uh not used they're still people can still buy them so yeah. so like some of these might be india italy france america there's probably one there they're not uh shaped like america maybe it's just that it's just the kind of way to represent that so yeah, we're gonna go low we're gonna go a little low and i'm gonna maybe a thousand feet and i'm gonna guys show you some of the buildings over there because this is honestly a really cool place i'm gonna reduce my throttle because i'm at 143 knots and that's not the best idea yeah so over here we have some buildings i do not know exactly what's in here i don't know who owns it but somebody definitely somebody definitely owns this and they probably paid a lot for it so yeah, this is not costing like two dollars just to own one island. this probably cost thousands of dollars to just owned a one island here so yeah, looks like they spend a lot of time on this. They already got some buildings. They probably have a resort there. Some people do live here. There are some homes that people live here. I don't know what this Y thing is. But yeah, so some people actually live here. It's not rendered perfectly, but honestly, it looks pretty realistic to me. <laughs> so yeah. The other islands, I don't think they're taken. There's some that are built, like some over there. Burj Al Arab. So that is a hotel that honestly is very expensive. It pays like 7000 to go for just one night. And honestly, I was astonished when I saw that. I saw that. Um, obviously, this is in Dubai. There was a movie scene by Shah Rukh Khan. It was Happy New Year. And there was a fight scene on it on that helipad over there. So that's pretty amazing. Some other, maybe some other movie scenes were taking this. But this is a really amazing hotel on Bird. But yeah, this is the expensive hotel. We have the build building here, which is a hotel for people who are really rich, probably. We have the outskirts outside. You guys can see. We have, I don't know what this, probably a mall and some homes. But yeah, focusing on here, we have the helipad, we have the hotel. Uh, there might be a pool there. I don't know what's on the back of the, uh, the thing, but we'll see. Yeah, that road there, that is the entrance. And yeah, so this is very cool. It's very fancy. Let's move on to our next landmark, which is, I'll show you, it's very interesting. Obviously, we can see it right there. It's the Palm Jumeirah. I don't know if I said that right. Palm Jumeirah, huh, that's the Palm Jumeirah. This is man-made, and this is a pretty cool area. There's another one on there uh, in the back, but it's a way smaller version. You have to get up to show this. Let's get a little up. So yeah, you guys can see why it's named after palm. It's man-made. And honestly, it looks like a palm. <laughs> like a palm tree or anything. This is very cool. I knew this for a long time. This is the... Uh, also, this is Palm Jumeirah, but it's also Atlantis. I think somewhere in the back of the area, there is Atlantis. It's not actual Atlantis. It's just um, a little place you can go to and visit out. Wait, here's the main attraction. Honestly, this looks very cool. This is man-made like the World Island, so it's not like it just appeared like that. People do live here. It is a thing. I've seen a lot of people ride uh, helicopters and all there. We have a yacht there, but I think. So in the back of the Palm Jumeirah, let's get a little up. Yeah, people actually do live here. So in the back over there of the Palm, there is Atlantis, uh, if I'm correct. Yeah, this is very cool honestly i kind of didn't notice this i i have i haven't been here before but i have seen pictures of this honestly i don't know how they made this it was man-made so yeah and there's actually another one like this which will be our next landmark over and yeah so my mouse it's right 
somewhere should be over there, I think. Let's get a load down. People do live here, which is pretty cool to live here, honestly. Yeah, see, we have a connection all the way from the actual palm tree to the uh, border. Which probably, which probably leads, uh, so there's no floods or anything, probably. So here is Atlantis. I don't know if I'm sure this is the place. Oh, wrong. Yeah, I, so somewhere here there is Atlantis. It's somewhere on the outskirts of here. Obviously, this looks very beautiful. It's not rendering a little bit. It's like kind of flat, but yeah, this is the Princess Tower and the Dubai Skydive. There's an actual runway there, so that's pretty interesting. So if we keep heading on the border of the island. Then we're going to be seeing the next palm, Jabal Ali. So a few tips and tricks talking about is the two bar. So if you hover your mouse over, you get, uh, you get all of these. So I'm going to talk about a little bit of everything. So you have toggle active palms, which first is pretty much positive plane. You guys saw that. I did it in Birch 3, I think. I think I did it, I did it somewhere in the hand park. Air traffic control is kind of annoying, but if you guys want to talk to air traffic control, then you guys can do that. Camera, you can set to any camera view you want. Checklist, if you, if you want to make sure that you're ready for takeoff, you're ready for landing. You have basic controls, which pretty much shows you. AI control, you can pretty much let the thing talk to you, what it, uh, the thing take over your pilot, uh, plane. Not a very good idea. I don't recommend doing that. I have crashed with autopilot on. It's not fun. <laughs> so here is the bigger version uh, to the other one. I thought it was smaller. There's, it's not a lot of build. I don't think people actually live here. Some people do. You can see some buildings. But it's not more... It's, a lot of people don't live here than the other one. Okay, well, apparently Microsoft Flight Simulator didn't show the houses apparently i thought that a lot of people don't live here because honestly what i see is just white uh, land but apparently there's more homes here people do live here than i thought it's just that they haven't got all the houses inside honestly this kind of looks like someone built this and then they just kind of left you know it doesn't look like i would say like a, a, a thousand people live here and then as soon as i look in real life there's like a trillion people in there Okay, you can see the clouds. I did change it to a few clouds or scattered clouds, I think. Okay, that's air traffic control talking, but I'm not gonna respond to that. So if you guys wanna talk, you guys can talk, that's not me. <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's talk about more. So we have fuel. You can check what your fuel is, but it's kinda annoying. I don't know if I have uh, a limited fuel. Nav log, you can set your timer. This is where you're going. Obviously, we saw that in a training, uh, training eight. If you guys haven't seen that, you guys should go there. They did talk about nav log. So, if you guys are here, then you guys should go check my training eight. It was my last one, or my, it was my seventh or eighth um, training or tutorial. But yeah, if you guys don't know what a nav log is, you, got, you guys can go check that video. Uh, we have objectives. I don't like this. Uh, we don't have objectives in, uh, enabled on. You have where travel to. I'm not gonna do any of this, but if you like, maybe you're on, maybe uh, you're landing. Uh, sorry, you're taking off, and you maybe you just want to go to fun, or you just want to go land. You can press one of these to pretty much go there, but I'm not gonna do that. Then you have the. We're not gonna talk. About, we're not gonna talk about that. Next one, weather. Weather, you can change your weather in time. You can change your day, your feet. You can snowy depth. Uh, no, honestly, I never tried this before, but yeah. Then you have last one, settings, custom toolbar. You can pretty much enable or disable anything. So if I do not want ATC, gone. But we're going to keep it on. And well, well, autopilot's taking me all the way to I don't know where because... Honestly, I do not trust it. It's supposed to be taking me to Skyline, but honestly, I wouldn't know where it's gonna take me. It's probably gonna take me to Abu Dhabi Airport. That's not a good idea. 
Yes. I don't know when to take control of the aircraft right now, but we'll see. We'll see where it takes me then. Well. Okay. So, outside we have a lot of sand. It's pretty hot there. I've been to Dubai. Here's the round. We're, above, we're literally on the le uh That looks like a human. Like, you got the head. You got the backpack, you got the arms, you got the leg, you got the foot. Talking about that, the mosque is right here. It's pretty beautiful. It's painted in white and the top are painted in yellow. But we're gonna reduce my throttle because I'm way too fast. Make sure that I, you guys can get a clear look of it. So here is the thing over here. This is the mosque. Let's try to get a good view of it. Sierra. Please expedite your climb to 5,000 feet. So here's the mosque. Sorry. So you guys can see it's kind of like the Taj Mahal, but because it's another mosque, but it has a different color and it's obviously not in snowy time. This is a few clouds. So yeah. This is the mosque. It looks very pretty, very fancy. I'm going to try to pause it and, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's go back all the way to the mosque yeah so Abu Dhabi airport's right over there so I don't want to crash like I did okay right about here okay so this is the mosque over here you can see the floor it's all painted in beautiful flowers the rest is white and it's kind of gold. It's painted in white. This is where you might pray and all. I have been here before. It's pretty awesome. I do like it. Honestly, it just looks very fancy and I like the whole style they did with the white and the gold. Yeah, see, batine. So, now that we're kind of done with this, we're going to move on to our next landmark. So, let's get out of pause mode. Make sure I do not hit that pole. Close call. Okay, so our next one, we're gonna be going to the city skyline. So it's not an actual landmark, it's just like near the ocean, pretty much on the edge. So it's not here, this is not it. It's probably way further all the way to the ocean over there. Okay, so this is the skyline over here. We have some uh, buildings over there. Yeah, we, it all goes over here. There's a lot of building and tall, some buildings, not as big as the Burj Khalifa, obviously. So this is the skyline. To our right, we see a lot of buildings. To our left, we have the ocean and everything. And and down, we have some buildings you can see. So yeah, down here, we have some trees over there. We have some cars moving. Up in front of us, we have a lot of buildings that are gonna be blocking us, but I think we're pretty good. I'm gonna go a little up. Behind us, we have what we just saw, some of the buildings and the skyline. To our left, we have some land over here. We have an entrance. And to more of us, we have more skyline and more buildings. So yeah, here is the Ferrari world. It might take a little time to make it more detailed because we're obviously we're kind of far away from it. So yeah, just give it some time. Maybe it'll get better. So here's the fire world. So inside, there's probably a, a bunch of Ferrari cars there. There's probably a tr or there's a racetrack there, I think. So like, if you want to race someone with a Ferrari, then probably that's what this is for. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like a theme park for Ferrari. So heading up. I don't know if it's inside or is it up there. Let's see. Let's get close to there. Make sure I do not. So I do see some things on top of it. I don't know if that's the racetrack. No, that's not. This is a gigantic place to be at. I can see windows, so I know it's inside. I know I don't know what's up top here. We're gonna go a little one more round and then uh, I'll guys talk about it next because this is our last landmark. Keep turning. Okay, yeah. So there it is, the Ferrari World. If you guys want to pause the video, with that I'm fine with that. But yeah, so we're gonna go and we're gonna land to Abu, Abu Dhabi, Dhabi International. International. Sorry. So, so here's, here's the runway we're supposed to be landing at. at. So let's, let's get, get ready. ready. I've been practicing a little bit on how to land. I don't know. I've never landed with this aircraft with the joystick and the throttle. So let's see how this goes. Well, I have done it with the Xbox controller. So yeah, this is the first video with me showing these two. So yeah. 
Okay, let's go up. Honestly, I'm kind of fine with this view. Okay, that's a little too much. Okay, make, make sure, sure we align with the runway. runway. Flaps, Flaps are on, landing gear is on. Check. Okay. Align with the runway. And then we're going to land peacefully, hopefully. And then, yeah. So, okay. Go down. Okay. So, I'm going to pretty much just kind of sell the air, uh, air, what do you call it? I'm just going to like, glide here. And then as soon as I like kind of make it the line of it, when I align with it, then I'm going to reduce my throttle. Okay, so right about here. I'm going to pull my throttle back to here. Now I'm going to let the plane descend. And then at the last moment, I'm going to tilt my plane a little bit up so my back goes hit first. So, you're descending now. Keep going. Okay, this view's a little weird, but I can probably stick with it. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna wait for literally like last moment, and then I'm gonna pull up right here. Let it like that. Okay, wind is pulling me a little bit. That's fine. Okay, so air traffic control is telling me to taxi. We're not gonna do that because that does take a long time. And for the joystick and throttle, it is pretty long. Like, honestly, it's kind of hard to control with the wind coming in. But yeah, so that is our video today. We have saw the Dubai. We have saw a lot of landmarks there. And we went to Abu Dubai. We saw a bunch of landmarks there. And now we have landed. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, hit the like button down below if you guys want to see more like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.